Billiard Club Television presents the Diamond Bank Pool Ring Game from the Derby City Classic in Louisville, Kentucky. Six top pool players from billiard clubs around the network are banking every shot for their chance at the winner-take-all prize. You're going to love this one. It's all brought to you by Diamond, the new standard for pool tables. Chalk Off, the number one pool table cleaner. And Ewan Simonis, the cloth of champions. Now, once again, here's the most colorful man in pool, Scott the Shot Smith. Once again, you are tuned in to the Derby City Classic. We're in Louisville, Kentucky. This is day number two for the Diamond Bank Pool Ring Game. Uh, it's a $2,000 buy-in and $12,000 potential uh, to the uh, winner of the event. The rules of play for the uh, ring game are 15 ball banks. It requires an open break. If the breaker makes the ball on the break, he shoots again. No safety play. You must go for a shot. When all 15 balls are legally pocketed, all balls will be racked up again. The player who made the last bank from the previous game will break the balls in the following game. Kick shots of three or more rails are allowed. And also no jump cues. Okay, at this time we're going to draw for the uh, shooting rotation. We have six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And gentlemen, as I call your name, please come out and draw a number. We're going to start with uh, Truman Hogue. Quit. Okay. Ah. Truman Hogue is on his fourth slot. Mike Reynolds will be uh, second. What's your name? Levi. Indianapolis. Ryan from Barn and Gray. Levi. Free spot. Shannon the Cannon. Five. Okay. Three. Okay. That's it. Uh, That's this it. is Matthews. Who? Yeah. Matthews. 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 Six. Okay. Matthews. Shooting. Tony Coleman is one. Ike Reynolds two. Brian Gregg three. Over the rail. And number five, Dan and Dalton. All right, then we'd right, like to. Nice. We're going to give you a little rundown on the uh, how the money stands. All right, we'll update you on the dough here. Okay, after two games, Ike Reynolds in the lead, twenty-nine hundred. Twenty-three hundred dollars for Brian Gregg. Tied at 2,000 each, Truman Ho and Shan Dalton. It's like kissing your sister, you two. All right, Grady Mack 1,700, Tony Coleman 1,100. Screw it together and let's get it on. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to turn it over to the boys in the booth, Billy and Cardona, special guest from Chicago, Freddie the Beard, Freddie Benabega. Take it away, you guys. Said this is now $100 a ball, $500 every time you make a ball. Four. This is kind of a layout that if Tony Coleman could get started here, he might he might get that six that Grady's looking for. He's got to get started. Got there he goes. He started. Got a nice shot. He's going to take a look at this 13 here, cross corner. Let's uh, let's let's take a look at the, this inning first. The balls are wide open and uh, I'm looking at the ball ball. that's got a nice little chance. He's going to draw the ball. He wants to get back up for the three or the five for cross side. If he gets there, he could he could grab the six for Grady. There he goes. Very good. Very good. Now this is what he needs. Now he's got a real softy with the three ball. What you did, the six every time. Now me, what I would do with this shot, I would just well, I would just roll it. Yeah, bet, bet, No, the angle's a little off. I I think he's going to just hit it with some speed and go three rails and around. He's, he's, he's going to draw. Uh, That's the same. He's going to try to stay do? down here uh, in the patch, though. Might not matter. Four sixty. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll be right back. Thank you. Are you looking for the ultimate one-stop shop for pool and billiard supplies? Then you need to visit billiardclub.net today for everything and anything you need for your home entertainment center. Our huge online store features pool cues, balls, racks cases, pool table lights, training aids, and every accessory you could possibly imagine. We've got the best prices and the highest quality products you'll find anywhere. Log on today to billiardclub.net or call toll-free 866-774-8770. Billiardclub.net. Well, I don't know why not. Um, this is a ring bank game. It's one All right, let's get back to business. Oh, right? I think you guys will need to resolve that and we'll let you. What do you sure have? What? What do we got? What do we got now? Here, your uh, one bet is taken down. You got one bet. And the bet is uh, someone will run six balls during the course of the night. 
and it can stretch over two racks. Okay. It can't. It goes into the second rack. So uh, he had a misunderstanding of the bet. He thought it all had to be played within one rack. If the game missed the ball and he's still running out. Six balls, ball, corner pocket. Nice shot, Ike. Oh, hell, wasn't even close. What card you got? I like the I like the okay, I like the bet is on six balls at this point now. I like the wagers that got six balls running in the next two hours. Ryan Greg, Indian. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Indian. Table number thirteen, starting their match. Efren Reyes. Count it. And Santos Sabajo Jr. Table thirteen. This may be the, your sixth ball run right here. I don't know how he's going to do it unless he gets up the table in front of, these, in front of the nine ball. I think that red three ball in the center of the table sort of like foils a lot of players. Ball, cross that. It, well, he's, and he the don't have to four. go there. He can, if he, the pink four. If he shoots this bank and he follows... Well, he ain't trying to run them now. He's just trying to get another couple of balls. I don't really like this shot at all. <laughs> and naturally, I'm right, you know. Yo, Louisville, moving over. Oh, that 40 balls. <laughs> what are you waiting for it to get to 200 balls? <laughs> Nine ball. Right side. Oh, I thought I thought Truman was eliminated. I haven't seen him in like two days. Cy Brown, Tony Chohan. Tony Chohan. Cy Brown, 16. Now, if a guy's going to try to run some balls, he's got to look just like straight pool and find the ball that's stopping all the balls. And you try to ball bank that ball. In. That it's bank right sometimes opens up all the balls. He's going to shoot those three balls. Is that it? Now, that's a, that was a good choice of shots if he's going to try to run some balls. Because now look at what happened. Let's say he would have made it. Everybody now. Now, <laughs> now this is a layout that could manufacture Cross six Cross balls. Cross 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 this Cross layout Cross right Cross here, Cross look, there's a legitimate Cross chance Cross here for a six ball run. That's because Truman took the three ball, opened up that's the pot. Right. Okay, that's one. One. That's that, one, and he's, he's one. laying real good here. That's Cross one. He's got the angle to come down table for the bank on the three. Well, he doesn't like it so much. Well, he, he doesn't like the angle that he has. He's going to have to hit it easy. It's like he's going to stun it. They cost. Up, oh, they hit it. He crossed it. Hit it hard. He's got the eight cross side. Eight if he makes this, side. this will be three. Okay. Two. Rick Beans, oh. Can't catch it. Now you see, here's the, the right shot. Here is the straight back. That opens up the whole team. Dick Weaver, Tony and Tony I think Grady likes the shot too. I might. All right. Grady, believe me, I'm going to bet Grady shoots the That's the only the shot ball. to shoot. The the, four, the seven right back is the only oh, shot to shoot. Oh my! Oh my! That's oh, hard my. to believe. This oh, is a my. hideous shot. Look what he did. It's That's hideous, man. And, and naturally, got no reward. I don't know what's going on. Six one. No, uh, excuse me, Tony Collins one. Well, once again, there's a legitimate chance for balls to be uh, for six balls to be run here. Well, the, the balls to be run is the, the right shot to want to win the game is bank the two ball cross corner. Now, just look at that. Make the two ball cross corner. What's going to happen? Everybody goes now, and no matter where you put the where the cue ball lands, ninety percent of the areas of the table. There he goes. Hey, that's, that's a guy from my area. There it is. There it is. Two ball cross corner. Wherever the cue ball lands, figures to be a good shot unless he, he he hits some balls and ties up something. But if he makes this, he's got a big chance to run plenty of balls. Okay. Okay. He, he got a little bit of a bad break by laying on. The balls are still kind of open, but he, he landed on the rail, so he, he, he doesn't have... A, and, and the pockets block the six ball, blocks that cross corner. Now he has to bank uh, the 14 cross corner. That's why we, you, you, when he shot the shot, he maybe should have tried to put the cue ball in, into a place that didn't touch any balls. The balls were already in place. So 14 ball. In the, in, in the right place. 
or any place you put them wouldn't be as good as they were to start with. One ball spots count to score one. Akron. How about starting with the uh, three, three, three real kick on the six? The three real kick on the six I like there. Spot seven. Look at this. That's here going to be dangerous here. Thirteen. That's a nice opportunity here. Trouble ball is the Seven five. Ball. They mean the pink four? Is that the four? Pink? The pink. Well, hey. Four one. We'll be right back. Four Thank ball. you. Truman's just going to cinch this. Or attempt to. Table number 15, Jerry Sauer, Sr. Sandal Stevens, table 15. <coughs> Shannon's trying to make a determination whether the seven can bank cross corner past the 15. Or if I mean, this, this is kick shot is, 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 is very strong here. You know, the kick, kick the ball in. What's wrong with three rails? Kick inside the uh, seven and eight there. I don't know if he can do that. No, sure he could. He just needs a little English. He needs a lot of English, truthfully. What's wrong with the 14 cross corner? <laughs> cross corner. Seven ball. Cross corner. It's got about a half a pocket, so this isn't a bad shot. Whoa! That'll get it there. That was gotcha. one pool shot. Okay. Now if he could choke this, choke or stiffen this 15 with inside English, he could stay up for the 14, the 8, and, uh, and get him a nice package here. He could get six. He could get six balls. He's got to have a little bit of English here. Not much. You don't need much. Like a half a tip. Oh, he, he forced it. You know, just it's not precision bank, but it, it's effective. He got the work done. Out of 14 goes. He's going to cross it. I don't know if he can beat the kiss here. Oh, he can beat the kiss. Well, no, that eight ball's in the way. He's going to have to, you know, he's going to, he's going to have to try to help. Straight uh, back, 12. See, see, I'm telling you, he, he couldn't well, get the kiss. Well, it's not his type of shot. Well, right no, now. it's an easy shot if the eight's not there. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go for the tree. Table eight. I like the shot he's shooting here. Yeah, this is okay. And he could actually, straight back. if he hits it Four nicely, back, straight back. he could have a shot in the 14 again, maybe. But uh, Table 19, he'll have to, he'd have to draw to get Stan the cue ball Bennett to go Jr. that way. How about if he, if he billiards the 6 in and then sends the cue ball up straight table back. off the 6 for position on the 14? Four, three, no. So that would be a good shot. Billy. That's my high but I wouldn't want to take that ball out. I wouldn't want to knock the six off. What do you want to knock the six off for? The that six way is a hanger. That way he can run the six. Well, he's running the six, but meanwhile, he ain't Ball's shooting anymore. Make easy. one, and then uh, three rail that. kick the six in, and then forget about the next one. Grady won't make this. The 14 does not go from where it's at. Listen to the old dad. Oh, 
Table number two, Damian Damien Four balls on either Ross side. Horn. 14, I can make Damien it. Damian Allison and Bobby McGrath two. Wish Grady would have made that because then he'd be uh, able to take the three rail. Could have kicked it to six. Now the table's running a little long. He should be able to make this three railer. Kid Chat sits ball in the corner part. The candy man. That, that's not bad. That should slide and drop it in. There you go. Well, you had to make it to the shot out of it. Straight back. Straight back, four ball. Oh, that's the pink. He's going to hit this natural, so the cue ball's going to come out a little. Ike's going to like this. Ike will definitely like this. Four ball, cross corner. Grady, the professor, only has 500 left. They're playing 100 a ball. Brian Gregg, in the end. Now this Brian Gregg ought to get out here and have a shot at it, okay? 14, cross corner. Make the 14. Draw the cue ball slightly. Put the eight ball in the same pocket and then kick three rails on the four. I mean, this is, for the speed of players, This, this you should have... Expect this to happen. Count. Okay. Now don't knock it off. I wouldn't knock it off. You I, could I, knock I, it up. I bet I kicked the three, uh, the four ball in now. I don't know if he can make nah. this bank. The bank's a hanger. This is a hanger. Believe me when I tell you. It's a hanger. Now you go for the money. Just like I said. Now he's got an easy kick and a chance to get break the balls and get that six. Four ball, four ball. Put some money in Grady's pocket. And then there's, there's that rule that was contested, rack to rack. Yeah, but I think they made a decision, and uh, it's, it's going to be, this is, should be good. It rolls long, see? Yeah. It rolls long. Watch it roll long. Bing. Ho! What a shot. Hey, want to play some pool in the most exciting pool league in America? Then join the BCA Pool League today. You can play 8-ball or 9-ball in singles, doubles, and team competition. You can even play in the world's largest amateur pool tournament held every year in May in Las Vegas. To find a BCA Pool League in your area, visit the BCA Pool League website at playbca.com or call toll-free 866-USA-POOL. Diamond Billiards. In game number four. All right, let's do your total. Brian Gray from the lead, 3,800. Now let's take a look at the money he's played Shannon Dalton, 3,500. Tony Coleman, two dimes. Ike Reynolds, 1,400. Truman Hogue, 1,100. Matthews, $2. Glad you took it down. Huh? <laughs> Fifteen to the side. No, no. Ten to the side. Oh, he's got a shot. He's got a two shot. Side. Oh, and two balls. Two balls he's got a shot. Two balls fell in. Eleven would have got him nothing. He's got to make it though. Table number four. He's got to make it. Truman Hogue. Hit it bad, that's why he didn't hit the five and the six. Table number five, Rudolph on the rock and Butch Wolf. Table number five, Rudolph on the rock and Butch Wolf. Seven more. Table number 20, Tom Dapkus. He played position and uh, Tom Dapkus, Bob Hershey. Cost him the shot. <laughs> cross corner. Eleven ball, cross corner. Table number twelve, Rick Beans. Swish. Table number Rick Beans, Ralph Sinkett on table number twelve. Cross that. Fourteen, cross that. Four 
Number two. Matthews is out again. I'm gonna count to three and then we're gonna all say good night, Grady. One, two, three. Good night, Grady. Brady's the first guy to be knocked out. However, his uh -huh. bet's still alive. Would you like me to interview 40 barrels? <laughs> How many is that? Three. Not a <clears throat> cross corner. Five ball. Cross corner. Oh, that was the right shot Stick around, man. that I, as far as I'm concerned. He's trying to clear up that center there so he can get him some balls. He's got the 13 cross side. Oh, he's got the one straight back to his left. Cross side, 13. 13 uh, cross side. 13 ball, cross side. This will give him five. <coughs> Well, it oh. wasn't even close. Score four, Shannon Tony Coleman. You know, an interesting dynamic on that on that shot there was that, I, if I'm not mistaken, Shannon Dolan's stake horse is Mark Beater. <laughs> <laughs> Ten ball. Oh. <laughs> well, we don't think we don't think like that. Not anymore. Three ball spots. Back run. Ball ball, cross corner. I you know, like didn't get much back here. The cross corner is, is, is really difficult when you're on the rail. He has to uh, stiffen it. Cross corner, three ball. Three ball. He's going to take cross the right corner. shot. This is the this is the right shot. With this new cloth, it's going to be hard to get it to, to run short enough. You're right, Fred. And You're right. Just, the, the, the table just just pulled it down. Can stiffen that ten ball. You know, you have to blast it. On this table. The table's too tight. The new cloth. Ryan Gregg. He's the leader. Indy Nap. One ball, straight back. Coming to the table, he hasn't he hasn't got much to shoot at. <laughs> this kind of reminds me. No, I'm not going to say it. Well, it kind of does. We had a one. Uh, we had a, uh, a finals in a one pocket tournament that lasted six hours. <laughs> this kid's kind of reminiscent of that. Three ball, cross one. This is a. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me when I played a match with Frank McGowan. <laughs> California. It took five hours, and I, I won four to two. <laughs> and I ran two eights. <laughs> That's the real, it's the most phenomenal thing. The promoter of the tournament, Fred Whalen, asked us, please, please take our business to Walgreens from then on. You know. McGowan was a pretty great player, but he would not shoot. He just would never take his turn. Shotgun. 
McGowan could run 100 balls in the straight pool, but it would take at least, at least two hours. <laughs> One ball. All set. Table number seven, Jimmy Reed and Joe Brown. Table seven. Brian Gregg, it looks like to me, he's executing as well, or maybe even better than anyone out there. I, I'm, I'm going to agree with you, Billy, on that. I, I think uh, he's going to he's he's going to make his shot, make those easy. Which is what what wins the money is you shoot off whoever makes the most hangers, not whoever makes the, the most hard shots. Now Truman, Truman is, a, is a, really a competitor. Uh, he tries hard. Now Tony Coleman, uh, I don't think he's he's playing his best game. No, Ike, Ike, Ike's capable, but I don't think he's going to get there. Straight back. Shannon Brian Dalton and Brian back. Brian Gross are probably my two selections. Score one. Billy, you know, we have uh, Glenn's piggy bank Rogers sitting over here on the sideline. Would you like to uh, possibly ask him, you know, if he'd like to get in this game? <laughs> yeah, I think piggy bank, this would be his kind of a game here. Uh, and I'd have to make him, uh, I'd make him the favorite of anybody playing here. A lot of shots avail themselves. There's a you know three rail kick, uh, short rail, long rail, long rail, and then kick the with one ball in the side. What do you do in a situation where you don't have a shot and you can't get a shot? <laughs> what do you put? You know. Wow. Go ahead, Tony. Go ahead, Tony. Good try. Back <laughs> Pretty good poke at it. Pretty good poke. Okay. Cross side one. Ooh. Now there's only one shot. It's the kick. What are you looking at? None of those balls go. You're gonna have to okay, see it's the kick. Gentlemen, I need your attention. We have a little bit of a parking situation again. Three minutes. Three minutes. Set down Saturday this night. This is the correct oh, shot. That's all he has. Oh, and, uh, let's see what happens. Side pocket. Fire department was out. They said, uh, got to clear those fire lanes. It's got a chance so here with this. This has got a chance. It's got a big chance. Big chance. Big chance. chance. Hey, 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 you better do it pretty soon. Now, the hotel's going to take care of you. Nine ball across the corner. The at the other hotel. It's an extreme cut, and it's Executive got a good chance to go if he hits it good. You just got to get in that angle. It's got a big chance of going. Score two. Check in at the bell stand about the shuttle if you want to park across the street. 13 across the corner. I mean, and then what was he going to shoot next? Okay, I mean, it's, it looks good, like that was a nice try. It's not a good try at all. Okay, what's he going to have next? You got to, you're in a ring game. You're only get one chance, one turn out of every five trips to the plate. Straight back. 
You got to do things that are going to, you got to find the shot that's going to get you plenty balls. And forget about who's coming up next and hope, they, just hope they don't run out on you. Next. Tony Coleman. You finally give poor Tony a shot. Now, Tony's got a, a real good opportunity here. He's going to have to probably make the, the, the four or the six straight back, but so what? Just make this. He doesn't need to do anything. Just go on the other end of the table. He'll have a nice cross side. Score one. But on table number one, Brian Spriggs and Hiroshi Takanaka. Cross side. Table number one, please. That's cross corner. He can't go cross side with this. Oh, cross sure he can go cross side. Cross corner. Cross side. He can't. Pinch it, baby. Well, I didn't think he could do that. That was what you call a pinch. Now, Tony's problem resulted from when he shot that cross corner nine, he hit it with bad speed, just, and he wound up on the rail, which made, made him, uh, gave himself a tough shot, which he did make, but then the cue ball got out of hand again, and he wound up with very, like hardly any shot at all. When you got an easy shot, you, the main thing in banks is make sure you're not on the rail. He banked that ball cross corner to nine, just hit it with enough speed, either hit it too, hit a little harder or hit it easier to make sure you don't land on the rail where you can do some, do some work with the cue ball. And when, it's your, you know, when you get to the table. Switch. Stay in the middle of the table, it's, that's really strong. There's so much more you can do. On table 25, Wade Crane and Bill K. Miller. Six ball. That's table 25, number five in the chapel. And on table number 18, Kevin Nicholas and Jim Weist. Table 18. On 22, there's number 20. Ever wonder how the pros make it look so easy? We practice a lot. And we know the basic concepts of shot making. Now you can too when you use the spider. The spider teaches you where the balls need to make contact in order to make the shot. It's easy because it uses laser-guided technology. And when you practice with the spider, you can learn to see what the pros see. Call toll-free or go online and order yours today. Well, Ike made a ball, so he's, he's, his run continues, according to these rules now. On table 22, Dick Weaver and Tony Black. Weaver and Black on 22, number two in the chapel. Are you squirming yet, Tony? He's going to play the eight, eight ball cross corner. And uh, let's bring the cue ball up the table here a little. I don't know if he's going to English it or not. Still alive, buddy. Brian Gray. These guys are heavy. You gonna send Truman Hogue home? Not, not good tonight. Not very good. Oh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> 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 oh, man. He said that would be sweet. Everyone thought that was <laughs> kind of funny, except Truman Hogue. <laughs> He's sitting in his chair. He doesn't seem to think anything's too funny right now. This, the sixth ball should be whipped in. I think he's going to do this. I mean, he's looking at something down here. I don't. Uh, this is this is a stiff. Forget about it. Six ball. Don't go there. I mean, what what is this? He's afraid to go into the balls. That's what you want to do. You want to go into the balls. Open them up. Clear that side pocket out so you can get some balls. He can get some balls if he, if he makes this. Well, that shot that was about three times as hard as cross side six. Yeah, but look what he's got now. He gets the ball. I like that shot. I might as well eat your candy now. You well, six and one half a dozen the other. It's a nice shot, but it's, it's, there's no six out there. 
Well, after this uh, inning is over, Tony's going to interview Truman Hogue, probably ask him how he how he likes the format. Get yourself some of that. How he felt he played in this particular ball, cross that. That's one of the greatest shots I've seen of the, the night that Shannon just came with. He was jacked up straight in, and he hit it absolutely pure. And he missed it by a millimicron. Got to play position. Oh, yeah, oh you mean I got to deal? I got to deal with that? No coach. No Six ball cross side. Table number eighteen. We got Kevin Nicholas, Jim Weiss. Kevin Nicholas, Jim Weiss. No table eighteen. Mark Hatch, please come See the shot, the, the game breaking shot is that 14 ball cross corner. As it is, these guys got to make many, many hard shot, hard shot, Ooh. hard shot. Uh, balls the ball just, just keep, similar to, uh, keep playing real rough. Rough, and rough. You're all in. You get broke. You got to go. So, gentlemen, I'm sorry. Great. You got the one home. ball in front of the corner. You got the 11, 14, 3 blocking the side. You got the 12 blocking the other side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're out of the All right. And you got the 13 blocking this side. One, two, three. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. The 11. Good night. Grady, did they just run you out of your own tournament here? Yeah, well, that's all right. You ought to hear what my wife no, does. Oh, my God. Okay, Grady, thanks for putting nice this on. Hey, Truman. Okay, five, five balls. Two balls, balls you have. Five balls straight back. Five ball. Corner pocket. Well, if he makes this shot, I'm going to pay him. And I'm going to pay you, too. All right, it's got a big chance of going. What he about needs, me? He plenty juice. He needs plenty of juice. Five ball in the corner pocket. Plenty of juice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Billy, pay up. 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 How much was it, 100? Give him the money. That was a big time shot. Plus, it opened up the ball slightly to where some stuff will go. He's going to, this is, should be a, he should whip this in. He's going to whip it, see? Kind of one. Whipped it. But he's stood up in a bad fundamental. I'm for raising the bet Please now. raise it. <laughs> okay, we're waiting. Play 800 a ball. <laughs> Three ball. This has got absolutely no chance of going. Table okay. play, table plays too long for this shot. It's got no chance of going. Well, it did have a chance. It did have a chance. He hit it. I'll tell you what. That that's even though I was again right. I was, I was about it was close to being wrong. You know, if we'd have had a. We would intervention oh, from uh, Mother Cabrini or some holy saint. Maybe I could have been proved wrong there. <laughs> yeah, that puck. All right, Tony. You want to raise it now? You bet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> raise it up. It's allowed now. Still. Everybody gets one more inning, and then the bet raises. I think they ought to play with a cube. There he goes. See what he did? Do you see what this? That is a banker. What he did is he, he tried to do that. That's not an accident that he got this shot. He tried to pull that eight ball off the rail and give himself a shot. 
he got kind of the worst. It's a little rough because it's so close to the rail. It's pretty. The shot could go, but it's 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 rough. He's got to tighten it again. He's got to pinch it. But bankers, bankers know how to do that. Table number fourteen. I'm gonna Eric bet Durbin. on. I'm gonna bet he brings Tinsley it. Johnson. And he did. There you go. He tried to create something, make something happen, and he so far he's done it. Well, if he can bank that 15 cross court, that's it. And then, then he can get some balls. Fifteen cross corn. That's it. This is the game breaking shot. This is the key shot. Stop that cue ball, son. Oh, boy, boy, boy. That's the, see, that's the, that's the shot, though. That's the, adva that's the advanced, progressive shot. You keep doing stuff like that, eventually it'll fall, and you'll go all the way out and break, somebody's, break everybody's heart. <laughs> now, I, I would try to get, to make this straight back next. They watch the cue ball coming over. Not open up the key balls here. Forget that 14. Go to the 13 is the shot. Bank it straight back right underneath the... Uh, well, he's left-handed. He's going to have a little more difficult reaching this ball. Yeah, right. I didn't, I didn't think of that. That's, uh, I know I like the shot myself, but I'm right-handed. I'd have played for this shot. Which and with a high ball, this shot plays even more simple. 11 ball straight back. Eleven ball. Don't keep shooting balls that tie up other balls. Try to get out here. Eleven is okay. Get he has a better chance of reaching the eleven ball straight back. But draw the ball. Don't stay there. Looking to play safe. See this. <laughs> I mean the ball. The, the shot goes. What are you doing with the safety? Ducking. Squeezing the guy. Try to hurt him. I shoot next, right? Anybody here from Indianapolis, Oh, yeah! yeah. Especially the way these guys are playing. You could leave a guy shot. They're not, they're not getting three, four, five, six banks. You can take a lot more chances. Be different if they're punishing you every time you make a mistake with a three or a four. Can't really do it in the middle of the game. We're going to 200 after this right? Nine ball, cross seven. Really got to get some spin on this cue ball. I think we should go to 300 a ball as, as soon as possible. Stand and double. I think, layout. Layout. I think 300 a ball is the only thing that will save us right baby? now. <laughs> Baby's gonna need some new shoes. Baby needs some pampers. That's why. Grady wants to lower it. <laughs> it lasts right. longer to get that more of a shot at that six. Nobody's run four. You know, you're talking about six. How about nobody's hit four. I don't think he's gonna win that bet. I mean, I thought it was a, a, a cinch, but uh, that's gonna drizzle into the rail oh. and oh, he went to foul. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. He's, he's got to get to that 13 to, to, to uh, open him up. One, two. Okay. That's, that's very bad cue ball speed. I mean, he's got an easy shot. You're supposed to do some damage. He's a hell of a shot maker, so maybe he can... Uh, Overcome. Table number three, Ed Scott and Ron Weisman. Table he three. hit it smooth three. as silk. All right, now. The only thing he has is to kick the one in. How about kicking the ten in? Well, I can get the ten in too, but that's a questionable hit. Yeah, well, uh, the ten is maybe just as, just as uh, the one is out of the pocket. You kick the 10, and then you'll have a shot at 13 cross side, maybe. On table 21, Twice. Larry Sims and Larry Neville. Twice. 21. Twice, two times. Score three, Shannon Dalton.
Yeah, they just don't see what the, the old man sees Bet. in these games. We need Jim Weist on table 18. Well, Tony's going to probably run that cue ball into those balls and take a chance. Since they're not playing scratches, you don't lose anything. You know, you might as well go for it. He's going to try to do it, I think. He's got a little, looks like a little inside English he's using. Is he going to draw the rock? No, nope. he's just going to try to cinch it. Your wakey, your turn's up. This is true. I remember it was one of my new shots. Cross going. Left ball, cross corner. He's got a chance to go here. Whack this in, and it should have the one ball cross corner. Shot. Squish. Cross corner, one ball. Well, now one he's, he's going to have a tough time shooting it left. He's going to go back behind his back, left-handed. I'd run into those balls. Looks like he's going to head to those balls. Shot. Head to those Two. balls. Oh, spots at the end, end of the inning. Four railer. It looks like a four-railer. I mean, why settle for anything else? What else are you going to do? Two in the corner. Two, Two in the rails. corner. corner pocket. Two in the corner. But it's about three times as hard as a four in the corner. Uh, how's he going to play? How is he going to play this two in the corner? It'll go two in the corner. How? but what, what corner? Two in this. Two, you know, short, long. What? He's trying to maybe play safe. I don't know why he's doing it, see? Uh, why is he playing four? It's stiff. It's four rails. Well, well what did I say? It's two two rails is, is ridiculous. Like know, it don't work. Brian Gray, give me that. Yeah. Yeah. Table number 23. Oh, Table number 23. We need Jeff Abernathy and George Breedlove. 12 ball, cross one. Okay. Now this shot is, 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 is easy if you draw the ball. Hit it below center, cut it a little bit, hit it below center with decent speed. It's last ball on the table, you go all out for the shot. He didn't draw the ball if you notice. Even though usually it hitting the center, a uh, shot dead in the center is, is uh, a little easier than drawing the ball or following the ball most of the time. Uh, and there are shots, and that was one of them where the easier shot was to draw it. You get the correct action that works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit a nice barn burner. And it's too much sea, so we're going to jack it up. 200 ball. Let's go. You've been watching Billiard Club Television and the Diamond Bank Pool Ring Game from the Derby City Classic. These guys sure make it look easy, but it's harder than you think. Go ahead, grab a cue, and give it a go. Just tune in again next time to see how it's really done. It's all brought to you by Diamond, the new standard for pool tables. Chalk Off, the number one pool table cleaner. And Iwan Simonis, the cloth of champions. For more, log on to billiardclub.net.